Today's lesson is about a standard deviation. Unlike range and intercortical range, which depend on two values of data, the standard deviation considers the deviation of every single data. Therefore, it's a better measure of the dispersion of the data. As mentioned before, for one variable statistics distribution, we use a frequency table, histogram, stem, and a leaf to show that. For center of the data, we use mean, median, mode. For dispersion, we use the range, quartile, box whisker plot, standard deviation. This is the formula for standard deviation. X bar is the mean, n is the number of the data, sigma is the standard deviation. In the formula, x i minus x bar square is the measure of how far x i deviates from x bar. If the summation of x i minus x bar square is a small, which means most of the data values are close to x bar, which is the mean. Dividing by n gives an indication of how far, on average, the data is from the mean. The square root is used to correct the units. Let's go to example. Example 8. In a particular weekday, the number of cups of coffee drunk by each employee in a company was counted. The results are summarized in the following table. The first row is the number of cups of coffee. Then this is a frequency. Calculate the mean number of cups of coffee drunk. For the mean, we can do x bar equals. We can use the original table. First of all, we do how many coffee all together. Therefore, 0 times 4, 1 times 6, 2 times 10, 3 times 15, 4 times 12, 5 times 8. You add it together divided by the number of uh, values, which means uh, summation of uh, all frequency. We figure out the summation of frequency equals uh, 55. You add all this together. 0 times 4 is 0, 1 times 6 is 6, and so on, you will get 159. So we do the 159 divided by 55 equals 2.89. Then we need to figure out the standard deviation. We need to make a new table. For number of cups, let's use the xi stand for it. This is xi. This is the formula for sigma notation. Therefore, we will figure out this xi minus x bar. Then we square. We add all together. We know the x bar that's 2.89. So we use uh, this uh, xi minus uh, 2.89 to figure out uh, this column. We have negative 2.89. This will be negative 1.89. Negative 0 0.89. 3 minus 2.89, you will get 0 0.11. 1.11. 2.11. Now we got to square the third column. But when you add all this together, don't forget this uh, frequency. 
because according to the definition of、uh, standard deviation, I need every single data. You minus、uh, mean square for zero. How many zero you have? You have this four. Therefore, this one don't forget multiply by four. You need to multiply by this、uh, sequence. So multiply by six, multiply by ten, multiply by fifteen, by twelve, by eight. Then you add this together. So we get one fourteen point eighty eight for this、uh, summation. Now we plug in this、uh, formula. You will get one. Fourteen point eighty eight over fifty five. You will get one point forty five. When you add uh, this uh, up, don't forget this、uh, frequency. Now let's go to example nine. The table below shows height of the group of one、uh, hundred females. And、I、find the value of y. First of all, we know all together is one hundred. Therefore, for this y, you will get equals use one hundred minus seven minus thirty five minus thirty three minus two minus one. You will get twenty two. So y equals twenty two. Then for g, write down the mean height for these females. Mean. Since this is a continuous data, we need the midpoint for each interval. So we do one forty plus one fifty. You divide it by two. You will get the one forty five. Do the same thing. You will get the one fifty five, one sixty five, one seventy five, one eighty five, and one ninety. So the mean. Let's do this.、Uh, H bar equals. We add all this together. Don't forget this、uh, frequency. Therefore, we got one forty-five times seven plus one fifty-five times thirty-five plus one sixty-five times thirty-three plus. One seventy-five times twenty-two times plus one eighty-five times two plus one ninety times one. Then you divide it by one hundred. You will get one sixty-two point ninety-five. Now let's、uh, make a table to figure out this、uh, standard deviation. First of all, we need to figure out、uh, this h minus h bar square. In other words, we do one forty-five minus one sixty-two point ninety-five. Then we square. After you figure out the third column, you go to the last one. Make sure these two multiplication. You multiply by the frequency. In other words, three. Twenty-two point twenty times seven. After figure out the fourth column, then I add all this together. So you will get one thousand five hundred four point five. Then according to the formula for the standard deviation. We use this summation. We divide it by the number of data that is a one hundred. So we put into calculator. We will get standard deviation will be nine point seventy five.